Hello, this is Dr. Says, and today I am reviewing Marriage Story. Marriage Story is a drama about Kylo Ren from Star Wars and Black Widow from the Avengers going for a divorce, except they don't have their powers. The actual characters' names are Charlie and Nicole Barber. Charlie is a successful theater director from New York City. His current play in the movie stars Nicole, who was a former teen film actress. And at the start of the movie, you think it's all going rosy it's very romantic like oh I love him I love her but then they're suddenly seeing a mediator who is trying to get them to open up to each other Nicole gets a bit embarrassed by this and they end up getting a divorce Nicole then accepts a starring role in a TV pilot in Los Angeles and takes her son. Initially, they were gonna split up and divide the money amicably, with Charlie saying he was gonna give her most of the money, but then Nicole was convinced to hire a lawyer and her lawyer is Nora, who is a glammed up older woman who is a famous lawyer and she pressures Charlie to find a lawyer, even though Charlie's trying to be reasonable with her and she ends up getting Nicole to visit different lawyers and bar them from being Charlie's lawyer. And you're wondering like, Charlie seems such a nice guy. Why are they going this far making his life miserable? And you do find an answer to that. The answer is that he had an affair and also because he was too obsessed with his work. Charlie eventually hires his own lawyer resulting in a back and forth legal battle between the two parties. As the film goes on we're shown more reasons why Nicole was unhappy in the marriage. She was living her life through Charlie's career and also his affair damaged things too. As the movie goes on, the son seems less interested in the dad. The son was seen like a spoiled, entitled brat. Like, I know he was very young. I was like, Jesus. He's not really a realistic kid. Like, most kids wouldn't be spoiled that much. But I suppose he comes from, like, a middle-class family of very successful parents. So I guess it's not too surprising. He reminded me of my dog. He's spoiled too. So the moral of the film is lawyers are assholes and separated partners can still be amicable for the sake of their child. Aside from the lawyers, all the characters in the show were relatable, they were well-meaning and likeable. You could see each person's perspective, even Charlie, the divorce, he felt guilty about it. The film had a very small budget of 18 million and for such a small budget I think they did a really good job. It's an interesting film for adults. I wouldn't recommend it for people who are sensitive about divorce or infidelity. Stay clear of it. The film lasted for two hours and 40 minutes but for me it just flew by quickly. I got pretty hooked on it. It doesn't sound like a type of film that I would like, you know, like two people splitting up. Like it sounds a bit boring but the actors are so good in it. You have Scarlett Johansson and the guy who plays Star Wars as well as other actors as well and there's a guy that sounds like Rex from Toy Story even though he's not in it that much which I find hilarious and he was going have sex with as many people as possible in, in Rex's voice and <laughs> it just sounded hilarious. So what would I give this film? I would give this film an S rank. I know I give that rating out a lot, but Netflix seems to do a pretty great job with films. There's a reason why this film is trending on Netflix at the moment. And initially, initially they were going to split up and divide the money amicably, amicably, amicably. Separated partners can still be amicable. Separated partners should still be am amicable. Amicable. Hello guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe for more videos. Bye!